Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. P Explores. Today we are taking a hike out to Wakeman, Ohio to check out the abandoned train trestle for the Toledo, Norwalk, and Cleveland Railroad once you come through here. Um, I was kind of expecting a, a, a clandestine trip today, but to my surprise, the bridge actually is fully accessible. Um, all the research I had done had told me that it was hands-off property. You could not walk on it. Uh, trespassers beware and to my surprise I arrive in Wakeman and what do I find that the inland trail has been built over this thing and we can get on top of it and actually check it out so uh, we're gonna take a look at the bridge today and uh, maybe take a look about around town and see if we can find some other traces of the railroad supposedly there are a few here so um, yeah come along with us we'll walk onto the bridge and see what we can see This bridge was supposedly closed in the 1950s when they closed the line and it stood here abandoned for years and finally someone has put a, a really good use to it. It is now a trail that I've been following all along, all along Route 20 here. I didn't realize they were working on this but it's kind of a cool surprise to show up here in town and find out that this bridge is accessible. So we are actually standing on where the old rail bed used to be. This used to head right on through town into Wakeman. We're going to go that way a little bit later and see what's over there. It looks like a, a city park there. Um, what we're going to do right now is take a walk on the Bruce L. Chapin Bridge, formerly the train trestle for the Toledo, Norwalk, and Cleveland Railway. So this is pretty exciting. The original pavement down here uh, you can actually see where the tracks were, were bolted down. This would have been off limits a few years ago. A lot of pictures on the internet of this bridge with no trespassing signs. This fence is new. We'll actually get a nice view of the Vermilion River here to the, to the right of us and left of us. Once we get out to the middle of the bridge here, we'll take a good look. But yeah, this used to be a, a route that headed in towards Toledo, went down towards Norwalk, Ohio, which is about eh, maybe 10 miles from here. Much bigger town than Wakeman, even though Wakeman is a nice little, little farm town. But there we have the US-20 bridge, and down there is the Vermilion River as it heads to Lake Erie. Pretty cool. Like I said, you can see a lot of the brackets where the actual rail used to be bolted down. There's a single rail over this river. And while I'm excited that we can walk on top of it without being stopped by police or the authorities, I'm kind of hoping, I was kind of hoping that I could actually get out here and see the original bridge without without the fence. Just because what fun is urban exploration without a little risk. But we still get to see the bridge in its entirety. I'm not gonna complain too much. It's a very crisp day today. Early March in Ohio. It's been up and down here. It's been cold, it got warm for a while. We had some 50 degree weather. As you can see, the snow is still covering a lot of things here. We had a, a snowstorm last week, and we're still recovering from that, but pretty cool to see. And the US-20 bridge has been around for a long time too. Not sure when that was built. But this bridge was definitely built probably turn of the last century, maybe even a little earlier than that. You can definitely tell by the construction of it, the arch. Stone Arch Bridge, they do not build them like this anymore. And perhaps I spoke too soon about not having something really cool to check out behind the scenes that hasn't been touched. Not sure what this thing is here back in the woods. 
It's like a large construction. We're gonna try to take a look at this and see what it is. Walk around here and get a good view. I have no clue what this structure is. It looks like there was maybe a roof on this one time. We're gonna to have to check up there and sneak around and see what's in there. Definitely a concrete structure down here in the valley, right next to the bridge. Sure enough, as we come around here, there's a door into whatever this structure is. We'll find out what this is. It's definitely some kind of enclosed structure at one point. If anybody watching now has any clue what this place is, please chime in in the comments below. And what you just heard there was ice breaking off of some of the trees up there. Sounds a lot worse than it actually is. So we're going to go further into this structure and see what else we can find. Definitely looks like a spot that kids would hang out <laughs> to get away from the parents. You can tell by all the graffiti. All kinds of crazy stuff down here. But as to what this place really was, I don't know. Talk about an added bonus to our trip today. It was worth coming down here. I didn't think we'd get much of anything today, but here we are, whatever this abandoned structure is. Things get even stranger. We have an abandoned building down here. I have no idea what this used to be, but it is right next to our mystery structure. So some kind of industry at one point. I don't know what, but abandoned now. And there's our bridge. Look at this beautiful bridge. It's in great shape considering. It hasn't been used in almost 70 years. The mighty Vermilion River. And back there you can see the Route 20 bridge. What an amazing structure. Really cool. I'm very intrigued as to what this building was. <laughs> Looks like it was almost used by the city at one point, maybe. Climbing in there today, but looks like there's all kinds of equipment in there. Who knows? So, if anybody from Wakeman can tell us what's in here, by all means, chime in. It's like a service building of some kind, maybe. No 
trespass and keep out. Well, we're not going to go into the main building if we don't have to today. We may come back on a return voyage, though. this might have been at one time. What I'm betting this is, because I'm severely out of breath from climbing up this, was a rail line that came up to the side here on these pylons. This could have been a concrete place or maybe a coal storage place. And the tracks would have dumped the coal into this storage unit here. Hard to say. Wakeman historians, let us know. Here, further on down the line, we have the old Wakeman Freight Depot. The passenger depot is long gone, but the Freight Depot is still here. So where we're standing, there would have been railroad tracks. This would have been the loading point right here. If we turn back this way, all these modern buildings would have been gone. This would have gone straight onto the bridge. There's not a lot left, but the fact that this is still here and being kept in decent shape gives me some hope. It's the perfect day to come exploring today. Afternoon, a little breeze, blue skies, some sun, and a quaint little town with some cool history. So, this is Mr. P. I am going to call it a day from here. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like in the comments below. Let us know how you feel about it. And uh, as always, I'm going to put this out to everyone everywhere. Keep on exploring. There's plenty of history out there to document, and it's up to us to get it done. So have a great day. Hoof it out there and keep on exploring.